Three, patience pays. People sometimes tell you that people are hard and selfish, and that the world is a dreary place. But you had better not believe all they say. It is not a dreary place. It is not a dreary place. The dreariness is in themselves. Life is, for the most of us, what we make of it. Scattered all over the world are kindness, fancy, fun, and goodwill. And if we are prepared to welcome these things, we shall find them. As an example, we may learn how an Austrian lawyer could get a job. George Rona was a lawyer in Vienna, but during the Second World War he fled to Sweden. Since he could not speak and write several languages, he hoped to get a position as a correspondent for some firm engaged in importing and exporting. Most of the firms replied that they had no need for such services because of the war, but they would keep his name on the file. One man, however, wrote George Rona a letter saying, "What you imagine about my business is not true. You are both wrong and foolish." I do not need any correspondent. Even if I did need one, I wouldn't hire you because you can't even write good Swedish. Your letter is full of mistakes. When George Rona read that letter, he was very angry. What did this Swede mean by telling him he couldn't write the language? Why the letter that this Swede himself had written was full of mistakes? So George Rona wrote a letter that would make this man mad. Then he paused. He said to himself, "Wait a minute now. How do I know this man isn't right? I have studied Swedish, but it's not my native language." So maybe I do make mistakes on some things. If I do, then I certainly have to study harder. If I ever hope to get a job, this man has possibly done me a favor, though he didn't mean to. The mere fact that he expressed himself in disagreeable terms doesn't alter my debt to him. Therefore, I am going to write him and thank him for what he has done. So George tore up the letter. He had already written and wrote another that said, "It was kind of you to go to the trouble of writing to me, especially when you do not need a correspondent. I am sorry I was mistaken about your firm. The reason that I wrote to you was that I made an inquiry and your name was given to me as a leader in your field. I did not know I had made grammatical errors in my letter. I am sorry and ashamed of myself." I will now apply myself more diligently to the study of Swedish language, and try to correct my mistakes. I want to thank you for helping me get started on the road to self-improvement. Within a few days, George Rona got a letter from this man, asking Rona to come to see him. Rona went and got a job. George Rona discovered for himself that a soft answer turns away wrath. We may not be saintly enough to love our enemies, but for the sake of our own health and happiness, let's at least forgive them and forget them. That is the smart thing to do. I once asked General Eisenhower's son John if his father ever nourished resentments. No, he replied. Dad never wastes a minute thinking about people he doesn't like.